Mastercraft planers are among the most popular machines for woodworkers. A lot of woodworkers upgrade their planers with spiral cutter heads from Sheerdick tools. In this video, we would like to show you how to remove your existing cutter head and install the spiral cutter head. Remove the 4 M8 screws at the top guards. Remove the crank handle assembly. Put the toolbox cover assembly aside. Put the, the two side panel aside. Remove the screws and loose the four columns. Remove the four columns. Remove the adjustable nuts at both sides. Remove the plastic side chain cover. Remove the chains. Remove the blades, blade clamps and springs. Remove the snap ring at the chain end with a snap ring pillar. Set the whole assembly in vertical position. Press down the bearing at the chain end with the help of a 6mm steel bar or pin pinch and a rubber mallet hammer. Press down gently. Remove the step belt. Use a steel bar or wrench as a retainer. Unscrew the clamping nut. Turn counterclockwise to remove the nut. Remove the pulley. Keep the key for next step installation. Remove the snap ring with a snap ring pillar. Press down the bearing at the drive end with a piece of streel bar or punch pin. Press with a rubber mallet hammer gentle. In case the bearings are broken, replace them with two new bearings. We supply two new bearings with a spiral cutter head. Remove the cutter block from the casting. Move up the shorter shaft end from the slot first. Tilt the whole hold shaft and take it slowly. Place the cutter block into the body. If the knives are on, remove them before installation. Let the pulley end go through the housing bore for the bearing first. Clean the shaft. Spin the drive end bearing to it. Let the casting stand on a non-metal table. Put a socket or metal type with bore bigger than 17 mm on top of the bearing. Press it gently. Put a socket or tube smaller than 40 millimeters in diameter on top of the outer race of the bearing. 
Press gently and repeatedly until the bearing is just down below the snap ring groove. Then install the ring into the groove with a pillar. Put the smaller bearing to the hole. Align the shaft with a bearing. Press the bearing with a rubber mallet hammer. Put the bush for the bushing for the chain on top of bearing. Press the bearing down below the groove. Install the snin ring with a pillar. Insert the key to the keyway. Press it down to the groove with a metal object. Put the pulley to the shaft. Press the piece of wood on top of the pulley. Press the pulley down to the inner brace of the bearing. Screw in a nut and tighten it with the help of a steel bar or any thin metal object. Install the step belt. Install the bush enus and chains. Insert the two feet of the chain cover to the slots in the casting body. Fasten the cover. Do not over tighten the bolts. Install carbide knives to the cutter block. Watch this episode carefully. Press the carbide insert down to the seat surface to eliminate void. Push through the whole insert to the seat back for close contact. Repeat the processes while tightening the screws. Do not over tighten the screws otherwise the inserts may be exploded. Recommended torque is 48 to 50 pound inch or 5.42 to 5.65 newton meter. Torque the screws even. Turn the spiral cutter head around. Do a final check to see if each insert is well seated and clamped. Turn the inserts with a torque wrench for uniform tightening. This is an optional process. The carbide inserts are 15 mm square, 2.5 mm thick, with 4 R150 round edges. Never install straight edges inserts in your future replacements. The inserts are standard size, we always have them in stock for immediate delivery. Put the hole assembly to the two thread poles. Thread the adjustable nuts to the spring blocks.
Place the four columns to the planar base. Tighten the columns from the base bottom. Thread the adjustable nuts to the thread poles. Tighten them up. Insert the two panels to the grooves on the base. Make sure the panel with ruler is close to the dial indicator. Align the four blind holes in the bottom of the top guard with the columns. Move the top panel edges to the grooves in the bottom of the guard too. Press down the guard to the columns. Bolt the guard to the columns and the crank handle to the thread pole. Install the dust outlet. Assembly is complete. We can now cut with spiral cutter head, a great upgrade. Enjoy the benefit of glassy finish on any board, no tear out, reduced noise, cheap to use and many more. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video is helpful, Please subscribe to our channel.